Tam Lin is a character in a legendary ballad originating from the Scottish borders. It is also associated with a reel of the same name, also known as Glasgow Reel. The story revolves around the rescue of Tam Lin by his true love from the Queen of the Fairies. While this ballad is specific to Scotland, the motif of capturing a person by holding him through all forms of transformation is found throughout Europe in folk tales. The story has been adapted into various stories, songs and films. Synopsis Most variants begin with the warning that Tam Lin collects either a possession or the virginity of any maiden who passes through the forest of Carterhall. When a young woman, usually called Janet or Margaret, goes to Carterhall and plucks a double rose, Tam appears and asks why she has come without his leave and taken what is his. She states that she owns Carterhall, because her father has given it to her. In most variants, Janet then goes home and discovers that she is pregnant. Some variants pick up the story at this point. When asked about her condition, she declares that her baby's father is an elf whom she will not forsake. In some versions, she is informed of a herb that will induce abortion. In all the variants, when she returns to Carterhall and picks a plant either the same roses as on her earlier visit or the herb, Tam reappears and challenges her action. She asks him whether he was ever human either after that reappearance or, in some versions, immediately after their first meeting resulted in her pregnancy. He reveals that he was a mortal man, who, falling from his horse, was caught and captured by the Queen of Fairies. Every seven years, the fairies give one of their people as a turn to Hull and Tam fears he will become the tie that night, which is Halloween. He is to ride as part of a company of elfin knights. Janet will recognize him by the white horse upon which he rides and by other signs. He instructs her to rescue him by pulling him down from the white horse, so Janet catches him this time, and holding him tightly. He warns her that the fairies will attempt to make her drop him by turning him into all manner of beasts, but that he will do her no harm. When he is finally turned into a burning coal, she is to throw him into a well, whereupon he will reappear as a naked man, and she must hide him. Janet does as she is asked and wins her knight. The Queen of Fairies is angry but acknowledges defeat. In different variations, Tam Lin is reportedly the grandson of the Laird of Roxburgh, the Laird of Fowlis, the Earl of Forbes, or the Earl of Murray. His name also varies between versions as Tom Line, Tom Lin, Young Tumbling, and Tamaline. Variants the ballad dates to at least as early as 1549 among a long list of medieval romances. There have been several interpretations of the Tam Lin story. Francis James Child collected 14 variants in the English and Scottish popular ballads. Joseph Jacobs included a variant, Tam Lin, in more English fairy tales. John Myers Myers tells a variant in Silverlock. Motifs Child took the threat to take out Tam Lin's eyes as a common folklore precaution against mortals who could see fairies, in the tales of fairy ointment. Joseph Jacobs interpreted it as rather a reversal of the usual practice. The Queen of Fairy would have kept him from seeing the human woman who rescued him. In some variants, Hindeshan has verses identical to this for the first meeting between the hero and heroine. Adaptations equals Pros equals Wild Robin, in Little Prudy's Fairy Book by Sophie May, The Armourer's House, by Rosemary Sutcliffe, includes a telling of the Tam Lin tale, which parallels the novel's theme of a girl struggling to obtain her dreams. Scottish Folk Tales and Legends, by Barbara Kerr Wilson, Thursday, by Catherine Storr, Red Shift, by Alan Garner, The Queen of Spells, by Dayla the Carr, The Perilous Guard, by Elizabeth Marie Pope, Wild Robin, Written and illustrated by Susan Jeffers, The Hawthorn Tree, by Patrick Little, Fire and Hemlock, by Diana Wynne Jones, Natan's Demon, by Margit Sandemo, Tam Lin, An Old Ballad, by Jane Yolen, illustrated by Charles Michalaikak, Tam Lin by Susan Cooper, illustrated by Warwick Hutton, Tam Lin, by Pamela Dean, The Night Ood, written and illustrated by Robin Muller, Tam Lin, in the graphic novel series Ballads and sagas edited by Charles Vess, Winter Rose, by Patricia McKillip, Never Let Go, by Geraldine McCorian, illustrated by Jason Cockcroft, Bird Janet, by Jane Yolen, in Not One Damsel in Distress, Cotillion, 
by Delia Sherman, in Firebirds, edited by Shah in November, The Dogs of Babel, by Carolyn Parkhurst, My Kingdom, by Hannah Wolf Bowen, Abyss and Apex, Winter 2004, Tithe, a modern fairy tale by Holly Black, he said, Siege said by Tanya Huff, in Fairy Tales Ed. Russell Davis and Martin H. Greenberg, An Earthly Night, by Janet McNaughton, Nat Stokes and the Foggy Bottom Swamp Queen, by Sally Kane, Blood and Iron, by Elizabeth Bear, Shapes, by K. Elizabeth Cornwell, In Fickle Muses, Feeland, by Anthea Sharp, Tamlin, by James Maloney, For Your Heart, by A. L. Davro, Thorn Jack, by Catherine Harbour, Merck and the Midnight Tower, by Jane Nickerson, Summer's Lease, by Luki B's Shahar A Court of Thorns and Roses, by Sarah J. Mars. Equals Theatre Equals, Tam Lin by N. G. McLennan, The Time of the Season by Duncan Flaster. Equals Music Equals, The Tam Lin's a Euro a Jamaican vocal group. Equals Songs Equals, The following bands and singers have recorded musical versions, all called Tam Lin unless otherwise stated, Tam Lin by Fairport Convention on Liege and Leaf. Sense of Occasion and Across the Decades, Pentangle recorded a version of Tam Lin for the 1970 film of the same name, a version which remained unreleased until inclusion on the Time Has Come Box set in 2007, Young Tumbling by Anne Briggs on Anne Briggs LP, Frankie Armstrong on I Heard a Woman Singing, a longer version on the album Tam Lin, created with Brian Pearson, Blauza Bella and John Gillaspie. Broadside Electric on Amplificata, Current 93 on the limited edition numbered single Tamlin is release 100 on the Dirto label and 666. 666 compilation, Tamlin by Cast Iron Filter on Paradise in Palestine, Tamlin by harpist and singer-songwriter Gillian Grassi on Serpentine, Bob Hay and the Jolly Bakers on Tamlin and more songs by Robert Burns, The Tale of Tamlin by Bill Jones on Pinch Purin, Media Val Barbies on Mirabilis, Outgrab on Love and Death. Pi Wake It on the Man in the Moon Drinks Claret, Steel I Span on Tonight's the Night, Live. Tamlin by the Ukrainian band Tamlin on Dreams on the Shore and Rearranged on On the Winter's Threshold, Tempest on Serrated Edge Cassette, Tricky Pixie on Mythe Creance, Tamlin of the Elves by Drake or Anwood on Hidden Gold is an original retelling of the ballad from Tamlin's point of view. Mike Waterson on his solo album, called Mike Waterson in 1977 under the name Tamlin. This track is track 8 on the first CD of the Topic Records 70 year anniversary boxed set 3 score and 10. Tamlin by Mike Waterson was added to the Waterson's 1993 CD reissue of their album for Pence and Spicy Ale and also on their 2004 4 CD anthology Mighty River of Song, Coyote Run on Between Wick and Flame, Tamlin by Gillian Grassi on her 2007 CD release of the album Serpentine. The song Fairy Queen by Heather Alexander seems to draw upon this legend. James Findlay on his 2011 album Sport and Play, Tamlin by Anna S. Mitchell and Jefferson Hummer on Child Ballads, released in 2013. The Hazards of Love by the Decemberists, released in 2009. There are also versions which change the original story. Tam Lin retold by Benjamin Zephaniah and Eliza Carthy retells the story with a girl meeting a man in a club and having a one-night stand. Six months later she finds him to say she is pregnant and finds out he is an immigrant without a valid visa and has a court case the following day. She attends the court and sees him go through various transformations before becoming himself, a kind peaceful person. The judge sees this and lets him become a legal citizen, free to bring up his child with his wife. Discovery by Three Weird Sisters hints at a darker Tam Lin with ulterior motives for his seduction of the girl. The song was recorded by the Celtic rock group Coyote Run, in their own unique style on their album Between Wick and Flame. This version includes a narrative in the words of Tam Lin himself. Tam Lin is referred to in the Kate Bush song The Empty Bull Ring, B-side to her hit Breathing. The song is also featured on the This Woman's Work box set equals other musical uses equals, as well as these versions, the name has also been used as the stage name of a New York City a Euro-based singer-songwriter, an LP by Frankie Armstrong, Brian Pearson, Blau Zabella and John Gillespie, and for the title of an Irish reel. Equals film equals, Tam Lin directed by Roddy McDowell, 
and starring Ava Gardner. Equals other equals, Tam Lin, a closet drama written by Elaine Lee and illustrated by Charles Vess, in the Book of Ballads and Sagas, Vess's collection of adaptations of traditional songs, mostly into comics form. In Carolyn Parkhurst's novel The Dogs of Babel, a section of Tam Lin plays a pivotal role in the story. In it the narrator, Paul Iverson, discovers that his recently deceased wife left an encrypted message to him in their bookshelf, quoting Tam Lin. In the Vertigo comic book, Fables, Tam Lin died in the defense of the last stronghold of the fables against the forces of the adversary. He is claimed to be the knight loved by the Queen of the Fairies, who had a reputation of a scoundrel, but gave up his chance of freedom to his page. In the Vertigo comic book series, The Sandman by Neil Gaiman, the notion that Fairy pays a sacrificial tithe hell is mentioned in the storyline Season of Mists. In the Vertigo comic book series The Books of Magic, The Names of Magic, and The Books of Fairy, Tamlin is the father of the protagonist Timothy Hunter, potentially the greatest sorcerer in the world. In The Books of Fairy, The Widow's Tale, the story of Tamlin's romance with Queen Titania of Fairy is revealed. In The House of the Scorpion, a novel by Nancy Farmer, Tam Lin is the bodyguard of the protagonist, the clone of Matteo Alacro N. The multifaceted novel Redshift by Alan Garner can be read as a subtle reworking of the ballad. In the fantasy novel The Battle of Evenite by Cecilia Dart Thornton, the story of Tam Lin is told as the story of Tam Lin Conma. The novel Fire and Hemlock by Diana Wynne Jones is a version of Tam Lin in which Tam Lin's captivity lasts into the 20th century. The story was also inserted in Cecilia Dart Thornton's last book of the Bitterburn trilogy, The Battle of Ebonite. In the Shin Megami Tensei series of video games, Tam Lin is a recurring demon that can often be recruited relatively early and is one of the very few demons whose designs share an exact model with another demon a Euro its brother model being another Northern European mythological hero, Ku Shu Lane. This ballad was one of 25 traditional works included in Ballads Weird and Wonderful and illustrated by Vernon Hill. Tamlin appears in the fantasy novel Rumors of Spring by Richard Grant. The Rose, the Knight, and the Fairy Host are paintings by Stephanie Pui Monlaw depicting various parts of the Tamlin legend. The Choose Your Own Adventure book Enchanted Kingdom has an ending in which the reader player's character is rescued from the fairies by a girl whom the character has befriended who has to hold on to the character through three transformations. In Jim Butcher's novel Cold Days Tam Lin is referenced as a former knight of the Winter Court, in Kevin MacDonald's 2013 film The Way I Live Now, Fairport Convention's version of Tam Lin is played. See also, Gilbert Brent and the Sprig of Rosemary, Thomas the Rhymer. References External links, a website devoted to Tam Lin, variant by Burns circa 1792.